creating support structures for a part like this can be quite daunting. Kirimoto has new tools to make this a lot easier and I'm going to show them to you right now. To start with, I'm going to use this part right here to easier demonstrate what's going on. Um, traditionally, you go to Add Support and you've got your pillar that's auto-generated here. The new features, the first thing is that that um, orientation of that pillar is going to follow the part orientation. So if I rotate the part here and click on Support Add, you'll see that the pillar now follows the contour of the, of the roof of the part. That's kind of interesting. Um, there's another feature now uh, with um, the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows. You can paint on supports, uh, which is nice. And you can use the Command or Meta key to erase them. So you have paint on and then wipe off. And let's try that on the bottom. Sort of paint on and then wipe off. The other feature, which is really interesting, is the ability to do an easy span. And that is by clicking a part uh, pillar uh, start point and then shift click a pillar end point. And it will create a line of pillars that you can um, then obviously just erase. The other thing that it does when you do this is if you click on this and then you'll notice that the line reorients to the line that you're drawing. So, so shift, shift, and then you have a line there, shift, shift, and you'll see the orientation follows the line of progression. So let's apply this in the real world. And here's a part we're going to use to demonstrate the, the new facility here. So go in, add a support, go to the bottom, click a point down here, shift click a point over here, and it generates an entire curtain of support on one side. And then we can go and do that again on the other side. This has already saved a ton of time. In the uh, belt printing world, this orientation actually works really well. It's kind of magical. The other thing we want to do, especially in the belt printing world, is at the beginning of the part, you want to add a, a support a sort of um, cradle. And um, that's because this part doesn't really have a lot of stuff that touches the bed. So the um, the fact that the parts now support, uh, follow the, the um, geometry of the face means that we can go in here and sort of add that basket of support just by clicking around like this. And there we have all the support structures we need to print this thing on the belt. So that saved us a ton of time. Um, also on belt world, on the back side of the print here, as it comes down the side, we're going to need a little bit of support structure and we can just shift click our way out of that by adding a little X support structure there. And that will provide the support we need for the back side of the print. Super useful and saved us a bunch of time and I'm ready to go print this thing. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed these new features. Uh, I look forward to your comments and feedback uh, below. Thanks for watching.